Today I'll be taking you behind the scenes of this awesome VFX shot I created using only After Effects and stock footage. This shot involves some pretty complex compositing techniques and layering a ton of stock elements to bring everything together into one epic moment. First, I found this awesome airplane model that I brought into Cinema 4D to create a simple camera animation and just overall plan out the shot. Nothing too crazy, just enough movement to give the scene some energy and help figure out how the elements should be placed. I then imported the Cinema 4D file directly into After Effects using Cineware and started building out the sky environment. This part was all about stacking a bunch of cloud elements and background assets to create that high altitude atmosphere. I then used Element 3D to import the plane 3D model and created some controllers for the propellers to get that spinning animation working. It's all those details that really help to add that realism. I also set up 3D lights to follow the plane and used a reference clip to animate the blinking lights so they feel natural just like we see in real life. And this is when the fun starts. I used these awesome Action VFX meteor elements and started compositing them into the environment. Action VFX is a leading provider of high quality VFX stock footage for filmmakers, game developers and VFX artists. They've got over 11,000 assets, explosions, smoke, fire, debris, water, you name it. You can find a link in the description down below and you can also use my code MKLS10 for 10% off of any Action VFX subscription. Link is in the description down below. To make the shot even more epic, I decided to add an additional plane in the background that one of the meteors collide with, ending up in an epic explosion right before the scene cuts. To bring it all together, I layered some various lens effects and of course, some epic camera shakes to help blend everything together and give the shot that final extra punch. Color grading using my own personal LUTs, which you can also find in the description down below. All you have to do is apply the preset you find that works best for the shot and you're pretty much good to go. So the biggest challenge in this shot was probably getting the cloud elements to feel right and also dialing in the perfect amount of glow on the meteor effects. That balance took a lot of tweaking. And of course, there's always room for improvement. I could easily spend forever fine tuning every detail and going all in with some crazy Houdini simulations. But honestly, this really showcases the power of compositing with high quality stock footage. It's amazing what you can achieve in a short amount of time when you have access to these great assets. And fun fact, some of these explosion elements were actually used in the Godzilla Minus One movie. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my free Shockwave Acid and also take a look at my Unreal Engine X Houdini course if you're interested in tackling large scale water simulations and complex VFX workflows. I really hope you liked this video. Please leave a like, subscribe and comment for more. And if you want to see more breakdowns like this in the future, hit that bell for notifications and I'll see you next time. 